we went to speak to Sue Emerus Jones, one of only two people to take a bloodhound to win the group at Crufts. Now, Sue, it's a very, a not very popular breed, is it? But, but why is that? It, it, there's no grey area with a bloodhound. It, either you can't live with it or you can't live without it. They're an untidy breed. They need a lot of exercise. They're willful because they're hounds. They dribble which a lot of people cannot tolerate. What's a, well, the, you've, you've listed a lot of bad stuff, yeah, there, I suppose, stuff. but there's got to be a lot of m massively good positive things. They're a dual-purpose dog, aren't they? Very much so. There are very few breeds that are dual-purpose, and these really are. A lot of our uh, show hounds are worked, um, even show champions are worked. We have four lots of working trials a year. Uh, the hound has to hunt the scent of man over a given distance. The, the ultimate is to have a dual champion, which is a show champion and a working trial champion. And there have only ever been five of those since the 1890s, I think it was. That's incredible. Yes. They're so distinctive looking, aren't they? And very yes. dignified as well. What do you love about them so much? God knows. <laughs> <laughs> it, they're just, they're just, I don't know, they're so different. People will come and say, oh, well, I've had this breed and that breed. And then you say, well, these are different. And six months later, they will ring up and they say, you're right, they are. But you can't explain how they are different. They just are. And where, where have they actually originated from? They're thought to have come over originally with William the uh, Conqueror. Uh, in a slightly different form, shorter ears, um, possibly a plainer head. They are thought to have originated in Belgium and France. The monks used them for finding lost people out in the various mountains out there. Um, the, the Henrys brought them over as well because they wanted them uh, he wanted to use them to hunt wild boar. They used to send in a much faster hound for the kill, but at least the bloodhound would track the wild boar down. I know it sounds funny, but do you think some people are put off by the actual name, bloodhound? Yes, I think some people probably are. They imagine that they're violent and ferocious, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously I'm sure that they like being part of a pack. Yes, very much so. But they do like companionship. They like another dog, but they love another bloodhound. The Bloodhound, 518.